Alright, today for, we're in for a little treat. Uh, John Miller, Chameleon Antennas, is kind enough to give us a tour of the facility. Right, well, welcome to Chameleon Antenna here. I'm uh, going to give you a little tour of the place and uh, show you what goes on here. So, excuse the mess. He said we're always busy. So uh, we ain't got no time to clean up, so let's uh, let's get started. Uh, over here we're working on hybrid minis right now, so that's a popular component for the uh, impasse uh, antenna kits. So uh, we've always got somebody working on those. And uh, right here we've got a bunch of uh, coupling loops for our uh, F-loop uh, mag-loop antenna here. So uh, we just got done processing a bunch of those. And uh, so those will go into stock here in a little bit. All right, so now we're in the back. What, what happens back here? So this is where inventory is kept, and uh, we do our shipping out here as well. And uh, uh, we keep everything as organized as we can. You can see we've got F-loops, uh, tuning boxes in stock. Uh, there's bags for the impasse kits. Uh, all our wire right here uh, that goes with the kits. And then uh, extra wires that we sell to customers. Uh, stuff that we haven't even unpacked yet, uh, we're getting to it. And uh, coax, uh, mainly for the uh, F-loop and for the impasse kits here, we keep that stocked up here. And then uh, more components getting ready to go out, get boxed up, and uh, we'll do our shipping over here on this end over here. And uh, try to keep everything as straight as we can, but like I said, we're busy all the time, and so... Uh, a little bit of chaos is a good thing, I guess, so uh, we, we kind of like that. And uh, here's our parts for the F-Loop Plus, and then the extra oh, wow. one-piece loops that we sell. And, Look uh, at all those loops. Yep, that's a bunch right there. Is that your most popular loop? Uh, we only have the one loop right now, is the F-Loop, and we got three versions of it. Okay, uh, some of it come with coax only, and one of the versions comes with two-piece loop as well. And then some people will buy the one-piece loop because they find that be more convenient. So we've got those available as well. Uh, the basic unit is the least expensive, of course, and uh, sells about as well as any. Uh, but the second most popular one is the uh, plus version that has the two-piece loop. And uh, people really like that one as well, so we try to keep those in stock all the time. So, and you can always upgrade the basic one, right? You can always buy the extra components. That's right. After the fact, uh, we can, uh, you know, uh, typically people buy the one-piece loop, uh, especially if they're not going to be traveling with it, because uh, they can put this together and just leave it assembled, and uh, it's more convenient. They don't have to put it together and take it apart all the time. So, uh, they prefer that uh, over over the coax loops. Uh, the F-loop for 80 meters, though, you got to use the double coax system, and so you do have to change the configuration of the antenna depending on what set of bands you're going to operate on. So that, that's part of the game. So. Oh, also speaking of loops, I was looking on the site. Don't you guys have a new remote tuner? We're working on the remote tuner now. We're waiting on the last components to arrive here so we can start shipping those out. So, yes, uh, that's going to be a wired remote. Uh, that's going to be uh, coming real soon here. Uh, people have got their pre-orders in and uh, appreciate their being patient while we get all the parts together. We've had a couple of hang-ups with uh, uh, vendors getting the parts into us uh, so we can finish it, but the, the tuner itself is ready to go. We're just waiting on parts and pieces to get here so we can ship them out. So, so no more going out there and fiddling with your loop. You can do it all from inside. You can do it from inside. Uh, the F loops are not waterproof, so it's not. We don't recommend leaving them outside. Okay, in the weather, of course. And uh, but if you find it more convenient to set it outside while you stay inside, then that that's going to be uh, something you can do going forward. And uh, I know a lot of people have been looking forward to uh, us replacing our old re remote tuner that we used to have that we no longer, we haven't had that one in some number of years now. So uh, the new one's going to be a lot simpler and a lot lighter and uh, function much more easily than the previous version. So we're looking forward to that hitting the market here. Sounds great. Yeah, thanks. So this is our uh, Impasse 2.0 kit. This is one of our most popular sellers. It is available with one of two hybrid units, the hybrid micro or the hybrid mini. Uh, this is good for 100 watts on sideband phone. This is good for 500 watts on sideband phone. So you get your choice of that, $25 upgrade for the bigger unit. 
Uh, most people set it up as a vertical antenna with the two whips and the spike mount driven in the ground, uh, which means you have a, a vertical antenna with a very, very minimal footprint. Uh, very easy to put up, uh, quite un unobtrusive once it is installed and uh, performs quite well, uh, covers uh, 6 through uh, 160 and uh, can also be set up as a wire antenna with a 73 foot wire uh, if that suits your needs for that given day. You also get a 50 foot uh, run of coax with an RFI choke on it to uh, block out the common mode currents and uh, uh, we sold these sell like hotcakes. Uh, so Doesn't very, it all very popular. come in a, a to-go pack too as well? Yeah, there's a green backpack that comes with it. Uh, uh, kind of hard to show that off on top of all this. but uh, I'm sure most people know what it looks like, but just to let Most know. likely, yeah. And I'm sure a few people don't use the backpack. Uh, they just dump it in a sack or something. Uh, I personally, I use a tripod bag for mine. Uh, I like that better than the uh, backpack because uh, it's a little more compact for, for my purposes. So, uh, been a very, very popular antenna and uh, one of the hardest to keep in stock. So, uh, we appreciate the business and uh, get a lot of positive feedback from users on this antenna here. You hear that, folks? Get them, get them while it's hot and they're still in stock. What do we got here? So, right here we have a simplest antenna that we sell. It's been in our lineup for over 10 years now. This is the MCOM 2. Uh, this is the most current V2 version of it where we uh, upgraded the enclosure for it. Uh, it's a 60 foot in fed antenna that's good for 500 watts and uh, very simple. You can hang it from something, hoist it up, hang it under your eave, uh, on a pole, whatever, and string the wire out. Uh, most commonly is probably a, a slope or configuration. Uh, you can do invis with it, you can do uh, inverted V's, inverted L's. Uh, at 130 bucks currently it's uh, very affordable and uh, has been a good performer for a lot of years and uh, simple to operate and it is uh, good for 6 through 160 uh, like, like a lot of our other antennas. And uh, just need the addition of a uh, RFI choke on the coax and uh, get the thing on the air and uh, start making some contacts. You could probably even sling it over a tree if you, you needed to, huh? You can put it up in a tree if you need to. Uh, obviously antennas like to be out in the open, but you can't always do that. And I tell people, you know, I tell people call me and say, hey, I can't put the antenna up like the book says. I said, just get it up, you know, put it up and start and see how it operates. If you have to move it, you can adjust the position of it. Uh, but don't be afraid to put it up in an un, uh, unorthodox way just to get yourself on the air. And, uh, and uh, a lot of people who live in HOAs have to try to hide the antenna. And uh, they put it under the eave of the house or they hide it along a fence line like an NVIS setup. Uh, but I tell them whatever it takes to get the thing on the air and get started and, uh, and move forward. Then you can learn from that and then perhaps uh, down the road you can make adjustments to the installation and uh, uh, improve the performance of the antenna. So, I mean, these antennas will perform in a poor installation. You're just not going to get the best efficiency out of it. So, uh, I, I joke with people. I say, go buy 10 acres in the country, and then you can do what you want. You know, and uh, instead of being crammed into a, a city lot. So, but not everybody has that to work with. Not so everybody has that. In so the HOA and HOAs I in particular, or just a small lot. Uh, where you don't have a lot of room to work. I mean, it's, it's common nowadays. It's very common to be in a tight space. And uh, so most people can work with 60 feet of wire. Uh, like I said, they can do an inverted V or an inverted L to uh, use up some of the wire length within their uh, allotted space. And uh, antenna still works. And the wire, the wire is very hard to see. I can vouch for that having one myself and uh, doing some soda operations and like having problems trying to find it, especially when it's on the ground. Especially if there is the background uh, behind the antenna, it just pretty well blends in to the background, uh, which is another benefit uh, to the small diameter wire. And uh, it's also got the Kevlar thread in it to keep it from stretching and uh, increase the strength of the wire as well. So uh, you can put it over your house if you need to. We don't recommend it, but it can do it. Uh, I've seen people, you know, tack it under the eave of the house. That works. It's not great. Obviously, the antenna wants to be out in the open, 
like any antenna would, and the closer you can get to that configuration, the better off you'll be. But you know, in the end, I tell people get the thing up somehow and start operating, and uh, then you'll learn from from what the antenna is telling you, you know, uh, how it's behaving, and you'll you'll learn and you'll figure out a better way to put the antenna up. That's what ham radio is all about. It is. That is what it's all about. It's about experimenting. It sure is. All right. Thanks, John. Well, this is our F Loop 3.0 magnetic loop antenna. This is one of the best options for someone who uh, lives in an apartment or a condo or who otherwise cannot put an antenna outside. So this is all there is to it right here, plus the uh, feed line back to the radio. It is manually tuned, uh, which means that it is very efficient on the frequency that it is tuned to. Okay, magnetic loop antennas also are very good at rejecting noise too, so that's another benefit of these. Uh, it's rated 25 watts on sideband and uh, 10 watts on uh, CW and the digital modes and uh, uh, will operate from 10 through 80 meters uh, in a couple of different configurations. Uh, there's a second coax loop that you would connect up for the uh, lower bands and then there's also an aluminum loop that will operate from 10 through 40 meters at a higher efficiency than the coax loop will. And uh, it has been in our lineup, again, under a few different versions for over 10 years. And uh, there's tons of them out there on the market. And uh, people have been very satisfied with it. And uh, uh, for those people who can't go outside for whatever reason, can't put up an antenna outside, this is a viable option to get those people on the air. So uh, check that out sometime.